Hi, welcome to the New Jersey Skinny, brought to you by New Jersey Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. As the summer draws to a close, multiple opposing factors and trends are competing to define the direction of the real estate market. After the Federal Reserve lowered its benchmark interest rate on July 31st, 30-year mortgage rates continued to decline, approaching all-time lows last seen in 2016. Yet most experts agree these reductions are unlikely to bring sufficient relief, at least in the short term, for first-time homebuyers. The lack of affordable inventory and the persistence of historically high housing prices continues to affect the housing market, leading to lower-than-expected existing home sales at the national level. Pending sales increased 5.8% from August 2018 to 10,906 for the month. Ocean County and Bergen County had the most pending sales, while Cumberland and Warren counties had the strongest year-over-year -year gains. Closed sales decreased 5.6% from August 2018 to 11,928 for the month. Although competition is strong, sales were lower this month. Buyers are certainly present in this market, but affordability is having a negative effect on sales totals. The number of homes for sale was down compared to this time last year. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 13.5% to 47,798 units. Ocean County and Atlantic County had the most active listings, while Gloucester and Camden counties saw the greatest decreases in inventory. The month's supply of inventory was down 14% to 4.9 months. Builder confidence appears to be up again, but we have heard that line before. The proof will be evident with an increase in the number of homes for sale. The median sales price was up 4% to $325,000 for the month of August. Bergen and Morris counties had the highest median sales prices in the state, while Cumberland and Salem counties saw the largest increases. Prices increased in year-over-year -year comparisons, and this will likely remain the case for the rest of the year. The percent of list price received at sale was down slightly to 97.8% since last year. Essex and Union counties received the largest share of their asking price. As many homeowners refinanced their homes to take advantage of declining interest rates, consumer confidence in housing was reported to be at historically high levels. Even so, real estate professionals will need to monitor the market for signs of continued imbalances. Although the inventory of affordable homes at this point remains largely stable, it is stable at historically low levels, which may continue to push prices higher and affect potential buyers across the U.S. That's the New Jersey Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.